It's, it's been a, a strange time in my life. When people pass away and you, you, you look back and kind of review their lives and your life and, and uh, start realizing, I guess, more and more what's important, you know? I mentioned to you before this, I watched the Momentum Generation uh, documentary last night, which I, I thought was great. And you said in it, at the time in your life where you were most competitive, you would have these ultimate highs and just terrible lows, and you went mm. through a period where you were depressed. Mm. Um, what were you depressed about? I had a really tough, like I was engaged when I was young and that broke up, that was really heartbroken over it. And I had a, I had a few uh, tricky relationship situations that were really tough for me. And, um, you know, I don't think I was mature enough to kind of handle those uh, the way I wish I could have. And, and uh, uh, surfing was kind of always that thing that brought me that high, you know, that, that, that uh, sort of made everything make sense to me. And there was, in the epiphany that you had, you said after um, you won your fifth consecutive championship, breaking Mark Richards' record, just about the, the toll that your level of competitiveness had on you. Um, explain that. Being competitive is kind of a double-edged sword because you, you know, it can help you push more and more and more. You never lose that, that drive to, to uh, achieve what you're after. But um, you know, that can be confusing for people around you sometimes. There's a, there's a healthy balance in there somewhere, you know? And everyone's gotta be responsible for their own feelings, you know? <laughs> so, um, it, it, look, when, you, when somebody sets out to have goals and achieve, achieve big things for themselves, there's, there's gonna be some occasional hurt feelings around them because you know, either you're not aware of how someone's feeling or, or you know, they're not happy with you know, maybe your success or whatever. What do you think allowed you to find the balance? Yeah, just growing up, going through stuff, realizing that you know, life's bigger than this or that. It's just going through love and loss and learning and you know I've lost a lot of friends uh, have passed away my father uh, a lot of friends to cancer suicide accidents um, uh, all sorts of crazy bizarre situations two months ago I lost four friends in in four weeks it's it's been a, a strange time in my life when people pass away and you, you you look back and kind of review their lives and your life and and uh, start realizing, I guess, more and more what's important, you know? When you're young, you gotta go out in the world and find what is your thing, and then as you, as you get a, a little past all that, or you achieve some of those things, you start to uh, worry more about being happy and what matters. I was gonna say, in terms of what's important, what's that for you? I think j just trying to be clear-headed and treat people good and be happy.